Hey guys, it's Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com, and um, my hotel room outside of the uh, Google I/O 2012 event. Got the Galaxy Nexus that I got from uh, Google yesterday. It has the preview version of uh, Android 4.1 uh, Jelly Bean on it. So I'm going to show you some of the new features as they appear on a phone, as opposed to the uh, Galaxy uh, Nexus 7 that I did last night. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the new widget functionality. Uh, take a look at this large calendar widget here. And um, this is the screen I intend to move it to on the left. Uh, notice there are already four things here, and they're scattered across, um, so it wouldn't actually fit normally. But with the new widget system, it will move things into place automatically so that they fit. It's all nice and neat. Now, the more interesting thing, though, is if, uh, say I have something else over there as well. So there's even less space. What will happen is it will resize the widget to make it fit. I'll automatically shrunk it down so as that it fit onto the screen. Now I'm going to show you the new uh, notifications. Uh, you can see I've got a bunch of notifications here and some of these have the ability to be stretched. So say I get two fingers here and on that screen capture one I can I can drag it down you can see part of the screen capture itself. Same thing with uh, let's see the Gmail notification here. You can stretch it down you can see a number of the subject headings um, with the messages so you don't even have to go in there to see who's sending you messages and uh, what they're talking about already. And of course you still have the ability to swipe things away and always you can hit this button up here to make everything disappear. Now I'm going to try to demonstrate the offline speech to text recognition capability of a uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. See we've got the uh, standard keyboard up and then I'm going to tap on the microphone icon down here in the corner and start talking. This is a test message, comma, I hope it works, period. It certainly looks like it's working, period. Wouldn't you agree? Question mark. Okay, now I'm going to show you the uh, new camera tweaks. Uh, I'll just take a picture here. Look at the it focuses on the transitions after um, pictures are taken. There's the uh, Nexus Q sitting over there. And one of the things I want to show you though is what happens when you just swipe over to get to your images. If you pinch down, you get a film strip mode. You can go through and say, oh, wow, how'd that picture of a toilet get in there? You don't want that? You just swipe it away. It's all pretty cool. And then you can zoom out again to get to the full-size image. And, of course, you have all the normal zooming controls as well. And then we're back to the camera. Okay, now let's just go into the notification area. You notice that the uh, top of the screen has changed a little bit. Jump into settings. Otherwise, uh, settings look very similar. A little bit, a few differences uh, organizationally here. You can see the way accounts are laid out and everything. Um, go into the about phone section just so you can see. Actually, it does say Android 4.1. Uh, this is not the final version that's going to um, head out to all the Galaxy Nexus users. This is just an early uh, over-the-air update uh, since I was at uh, Google I.O. this year. So there you have it. That's a very quick overview of a couple of the new features to be found in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean as uh, seen on the Google Galaxy Nexus. For MobileBurn.com, I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching.